Hello and welcome to Tech Boost. Today, we are going to go over the proper way to set up a RAID configuration on your Dell PowerEdge server. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks. It is a way of storing the same data in different places on multiple hard drives to protect your data in case of a drive failure. There are different RAID levels, however, and each has its own strengths and weaknesses. Before setting up your RAID configuration, please pause the video to determine which is the best for your needs. Check the description below if you need more information. Understanding the different RAID levels is crucial for developing storage infrastructure that meets the needs of your organization. RAID has the capability to protect against disk failures and provide fast performance. To begin, press F10 to enter the lifecycle controller while the system is booting up. If this is your first time using the server, you may have to choose your language and keyboard type before continuing. Once you've arrived at the Lifecycle Controller home screen, locate the Configure RAID option on the menu. The first screen you see will prompt you to select your RAID controller. If you do not see your RAID card in the drop-down menu, please check out our RAID installation video for your system. Once you've selected the proper controller, press Next. After that, you'll be brought to a screen where you select the RAID level you wish to use. Please check out the link in the description below if you need further information on the different RAID levels. After selecting the RAID level you wish to set up, the next step is to select the drives you wish to configure. Select the proper disk pool for the drives you wish to use, then check the drives you plan to include on the window near the bottom. Next, you need to specify the virtual disk attributes. Name the virtual disk and ensure the rest of the settings are to your specifications. If you have any further questions regarding these settings, please ask in the comments. Finally, the configuration wizard will prompt you to review all of the information. If everything looks correct, press finish and wait for the success window to appear. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, RAM, hard drive, and video card installations, as well as general product overviews for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy requesting more content.